I am the Director of Learning Support Services at City College. So I will have been here 25 years. Uh, when I retire next May. Um, I came here from UC Davis. I taught at UC Davis for a number of years. Got my doctorate there. I taught at Chico State before that. Um, I think it's, it's interesting because I came here, I think, with the intention of teaching literature primarily. I'd rather teach at a great two-year college than a kind of isolating four-year college. And uh, had several interviews. This one, uh, I was interviewed once here. I came for an interview. The English department, sort of standard, you know, do your teaching thing and uh, tell us about yourself. And I was interviewed on the phone for the second one by Dr. McDougall, and I remember it distinctly because it was so, it was so intensive, you know. I mean, he was such a great person about kind of asking follow-up questions, but they were really difficult questions. They weren't like superficial questions. And I hung up the phone and literally fell on the floor, I remember that. His questions, especially coming from a college president, seemed so informed about education and what it's really about. And also students, you know, his concern about students. Coming here turned out to be much more of an education for me than I'd anticipated. I think it was Jack Friedlander proposed that I come to the Learning Center. The Learning Center when I came was a kind of a divided place. There was a lot of infighting and service areas that weren't really coordinated. You know, one of the things that City College has taught me is just the whole nature of education and how it works and things that I hadn't thought about that closely, especially teaching at a university. Um, and so for me, from our area, the thing that the thing that stands out most is a kind of focus on the individual and how the individual processes information and the importance of listening to students, uh, not just talking at students. Education is at least as much about heart as it is about head, you know? I mean, it's, there's got to be a kind of engagement of, of your whole self in the process or it becomes a kind of empty process. The evolution of kind of educational technology is a thing that's ongoing, but initially it was a lot of smoke and mirrors, but it too has evolved, you know, where it's still just a tool, frankly. I mean, I don't, I'm still not convinced that technology is a truly transformational in terms of learning. I think it's just a good tool. So anyway, the Cartwrights, so we had a lunch to meet them, and I was just struck one by what you mentioned about the, the kind of quality of their questions about what we did and how we measured success and what we thought mattered. And so it wasn't kind of a typical donor situation at all. And plus they took their food home with them that they didn't consume. And were, were and just very plain, they were very plain. And I learned later they were Quakers when, uh, when she passed, we, I went to her uh, ceremony in town and and that, again, you know, just everything you learned about the Cartwrights, they just got better and better. They were really fine people. So we were quite proud to have their name associated with what we do. I feel like City College is stronger than it's ever been since I've been here. But we've also, I feel like we've gotten a lot of unfair press in the last few years. I mean, I think it really truly is a special institution and it serves the community in just an incredibly vital, significant way. I guess my message would be that there's something essential to education that really hasn't changed and is kind of timeless, and I would want to focus on that and listen, you know, as much as you talk. That's one thing I've learned probably as a, that listening is a more valuable skill than talking in many ways. Because um, I think this institution has a lot to teach the teachers, the new teachers, just as new teachers have a lot to offer the institution. It's reciprocal.